Hello everybody, welcome to Ballad Loft, uh, Jensen Pigeons. These are pure Jensen's from uh, Jensen's Brothers of Arendonk. I just want to show you guys this hen. He just got home a couple weeks back from a race from uh, Gold Country Challenge in California. She was, I sent three birds. One got lost pretty much around the loft right away. One got lost on 200 miles, but those are, uh, it, was, it was terrible race this year. A lot of birds got lost, so. To make a long story short, she was the only one left. And well, you know, she's a winner. She was two times money winner. She, let's see. So that's her results. I, I started with 70 miles because 70 miles in Europe, 70 miles is a race. Over here is just that training toss. So she was first and third on 72 miles. She was first on 105 miles, which was for us was the activation toss. Uh, and that's 168 kilometers for those from Europe. Then she was second on 147 miles. That's 238 kilometers plus. And then there was a real bad race. A lot of birds got lost. She came next day and she clocked as a 120th. So I figured that that's going to be it for her. But no, she bounced right back. And then next race, race was uh, 237 miles, miles, 383 kilometers. And she came first. And she was a money winner on that race. And the final race, 305 kilometers, miles, 400. 80 kilometers or 90, whatever the thing is, 490. She came 13th. She was a money winner on that one, too. So it wasn't for the one bad race. She was very good. She was a uh, fourth points bird, but she was, she is, uh, let me see, uh, I don't think I wrote it. I think she was 46th. I believe on um, average speed so because of the one day that she lost it but yeah she's a beautiful blue checker hand on top she is a September man red to hand from a rocket and then some princess and on the bottom she is from a Gilliger red to Vost lady so that's how I bred the parents. Well, unfortunately, my the father of hers hers is uh it's gone there because hot gone in the summer. So I can't show you the father, but I'll show you the mom, and I'll show you the grandparents. She's a medium medium sized hen. So beautiful bird. Probably very. Made me very happy this year. Seems like birds are getting lost right and left on those one love races this year. I sent two birds to uh, Arizona, uh, and uh, they're both gone. Last race was 200 miles, 250 miles, 250 miles. And uh, 150 birds got lost. I don't know what the heck they're doing there, but yeah, that's insane to lose 150 birds. But anyway, go back, so this, this bird is a September man. I call him September bird because he's from September man bloodline. And he's a uh, son of Charles, which is, Charles was son of September man. So this is, that's the, and he was father to the, to her father, so he's her grandfather. And like I said, her father got caught by a hawk. So I'm gonna have to repeat this breeding because those are good breedings. And I tested them his kids, all the way to 300 miles, they're always in the first drop. I still got his daughter, which is sister to her, to hers, her aunt. So that's the cock. You probably see them probably in different videos too. He's from 2014. And he's my top breeder. He bred the other hand too. He bred a, he bred a hand that was second on one of the race on 200 miles a couple years back and she made no, she only wanted to. 
True Jensen. Hundred percent. Not some Mexican Jensen's out here. Got some some Mexican Jensen's. I don't know what that is. Jensen's came from Belgium. I don't. Not Mexico. So that's where the Jensen came from. You want true ones? I send my birds over the country. They go everywhere. I got guys buying my birds from east to west, south, south to north, and I sold some to Mexico. I'm sorry, not Mexico, Puerto Rico. German by Puerto Rico. And he bought a, let me show you something. So this is the mom to the uh, hen, the winner hen, okay? So I sold her, her full sister to gentleman in uh, Puerto Rico. Erika. So Erika, if you're watching this, the hand that you got is four sister to this hand, which is mom to the winner hand. And she's uh, on top Gilger and the bottom of Voss. Beautiful hand. She's on larger side. She's larger hand, so. Again, 100% Jensen. These birds are 100 Jensen's, and they fly with the best of them over in the United States. And uh, Gold Country Challenge was started with 465 birds, I believe, was accepted, and about 105 lots. And I think we ended, I can't, I don't want to lie, but I think it was ended up with like 70 some lots. And um, I don't know how many birds came from the last race, 100 some, 160 maybe. So a good three quarters of birds just fall off. So that's mom of the baby. And I show you one more hand, because she's like a common dominator in all the races. All the birds that have the race good. She's mom. She's grandmother to the racing hand. And she's mom to her to her son, to her I'm sorry, to her father. Every bird she bred comes home good. Every single one. Every one bird that she bred that they didn't come home good. So, and she came from uh, the rocket. And our princess breeding. Blue bar hand. She's about medium. So we're gonna breed her to September man again, in January, February, gonna put them together again. Because I need to reproduce the cock that I lost, so hopefully it's as good as the one I lost. Beautiful hand. All the birds are 100% Jensen's from imports. And I just got one more bird this month. Came from Love from Holland. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, Merck's. With princes, it's, it's, it's inbred on Max and it got princes in it. So, very good looking cock and it's very aggressive in the loft. So, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna, it's very promising. So, we'll see. I'm gonna be in this coming up here. And in regards to one love races, I don't tell you guys, I don't want to race anymore because it seems like everybody's losing birds in big numbers. And uh, you lose some, you win some, but then it seems like it's some people lose some so many birds that's not even. I know how that can happen. How can you lose 150 birds in one loft? You know, one race, I don't know. Unless the birds were not fed good for the race. Birds need to feel happy in the loft. They need to come to the loft. They need something to come to the loft, not just people just throw them in and they fly them, I don't know. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna send the birds this coming up here yet for 2022, but I'm gonna send some someplace. But I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna send any more to Arizona because that guy just disappointed me real bad. So I'm, I I wasn't expecting to winning anything, but just to lose birds, that many birds, that just yeah. You, you're not gonna win all the time. There's not such a thing as winning all the time. If the competition is good, you know, because if you have, if you got weak competition, if you have good birds, you're gonna win. But if you got strong competition, there's no way you're gonna win every year. So that's my thought about it. So I want to thank everybody that subscribed. If you're new on to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, thank you for everybody. I, I got email from YouTube this year because it was my one year of YouTube and I got 
I don't know how many subscribers I had. That was just insane. So many people are watching. And it's like all over the world from Poland, Philippines. I got. I knew I had a lot of guys from Philippines. I get messages all the time. So thank you. And have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye.